Well, good morning all. This is part two. I was here last night. Friday night, that is. Yeah. Back down here at Little Stop. Well, the weather is going to turn nasty later on. And tomorrow's going to be a, probably going to be a just a bad day for fishing anyway. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to do something. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, today is Saturday. Just got here. Well, 20 minutes. Set the rods up. The old wind's a bit blustery. But in all fairness, it's not that bad. Not as bad as they say it was going to be anyway. Uh, south. South, south, westerly winds. But it's a blast you got to watch. Yeah. So it's one of those days where you've got to pin your rod rest down. Put a few boulders around it. Keep the rod safe. Yeah. Okay, well. Same bait as last night. Ragworm, lugworm, squid. Um, got a few sand hill. Anyway, something's, something's happened on the left row, thank you. <laughs> what does that, don't it? As soon as I start talking to you, the ball goes. Okay, well, I'll bring you back if anything happens. Uh, last night's video is only going to be a short one. I'll put that one up later on. So you probably would have seen that one first before you see this one. Time's a bit short at the moment. I've got so much to do. So little time to do it. But I need to fish. I need to be by the sea. Okay, right. I'll bring it back. Let's see if we can catch a couple of uh, unicorns. Or anything really. There's a really, really low tide today. 8.8 .8 or something like that. Not many people would bother fishing these sort of tides, but you never know, do you? You've got to be in it to win it. Okay, I'll bring you back if anything happens. See you soon. The colour of this water. The old Bristol Channel, it's a right minger, isn't it? Let's <laughs> uh, stay in my eyes, look. These yellow tails. Dirty buggers. these gusts of wind, you know. It'll soon take your rods away. Or is it legal? Can you do it? Can't you do it? That's a, that's a good question. I ain't got no internet here, so I can't check it. Somebody's just come across me like that. <clears throat> is long lining on the beach legal or not? If somebody can answer that question, stick it in the comments. Or drop me a link or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, there's nothing happening here. <clears throat> Just a couple of rattles. I'll bring it back if it does, does happen. Oh, 
cold start. Um, look what I've done down there. Look. Put some grip bulkers on the bottom of the tripod. Because the wind's behind me and it comes up with a real big gust. Do that and hopefully it won't push the tripod over. But anyway. Bring it back. Oh, beauty. Right. It's quite hard to get them. 
about four pound that one. Maybe a bit bigger but anyway, let's get back in. Right. Well I've decided I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go and find somewhere where there's a bit of shower. This wind it uh, it keeps whipping up real strong, you know. Be <clears throat> uh, um, one of my rods has got a busted tip ring, which is not good. Yeah, I had that. Um, I had my jacket on the tripod, and what a hell of a gust come up! Took the tripod over. Yeah, damaged one of the tip rings, so uh, yeah, there's no point in uh, staying out here if you're going to cause damage, is it? You know, you probably hear the wind's getting up now, though, and it's not coming from the south southwest, like they said, it's more westerly. And when it blows, it blows. Right, okay, well, I'm going to find somewhere else, I'm going to have to whip home. Get another tip. I got several tips for these rods, so I got soft ones, medium ones. Some tips with some real grunt. Yeah. Okay, right. I'll catch you all later on. That's if I come back out. I might not, you know. You know what it's like. Might get home and just say bugger it. Okay, well whatever I decide to do, I'll see you later. Take care all. That was a nice raid that was. I'll see you later. Cheerio.